sort of knew 2024 would turn to shit, but I didn't figure it was going to be this fast. Uh, if you notice, I'm petting a dog because the dog is needy. There's no computer here. Uh, and there's also no banner behind me, and that's for a reason. Um, last week, uh, I don't know what happened. I'm not a tech guy, so I honestly don't know what the fuck happened, whether I was hacked, crashed, whatever. All I know is that things shit the bed, and when it shit the bed, so did the other computer. So now that computer is being repaired as I record this. Um, and honestly, I've tried to do a couple other recordings to express, express my displeasure over what happened, and that's why there's no banner behind me, and that's why I'm just doing this in my fucking freezing cold fucking office in my street clothes, for lack of better words, because I, I, I'm not going to blame this on anybody. I know I have some people out there that honestly and truly hate my guts and will stoop to any level to fuck me, discredit me, whatever. And that's not me, me being paranoid. That is the truth. Um, whether they were behind this, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking situation is. The guy hasn't called me up yet. Oh, I know it's pretty fucked up. It's a Windows 7. I use the Windows 10 to upload shit, but that's all fucked up too. But Windows 7 is the main thing I use because I can't figure out Windows 10. So, no, I'm not doing a fucking uh, begathon here for money to buy me a new computer because even if I had money to buy a new computer, I obviously wouldn't know how to fucking operate it because, like I keep saying, I'm not a tech guy. Um, before it got too cold, I was running down to the library to check emails and shit like that, but it is definitely too fucking cold, and I, I think I even tried to get it out on Facebook that I don't have a computer, and I'm not going to be able to respond to emails, but I get them anyway, probably, so I don't know. Um, I was honestly thinking, and I, you know, have torn down the banner in total disgust because I'm just wondering whether... It, 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 this continuing this is fucking worth it for a lot of reasons. Um, I spent a lot of time deleting negative comments for some reason, and maybe it's only one guy, maybe it's a bunch of people, I don't know. I shouldn't be able to have to do that, nor should I have to be able to be uh, put up with that shit. Uh, another thing is that uh, this was going on for a while, that some people in New Jersey are bound and determined to get me back at Schiller Theater. And no matter how I express the fact that I, number one, I don't want to go down there anymore. It's been 20 years, okay? 20 years. Now, maybe you're wallowing in nostalgia, how things used to be 20 years ago. But 20 years in the present, they're not the same. I'm not the same person. Um, it was also suggested that um, I could make some money, you know, having selfies taken with my fans and charging my fans for autographs. Um autograph pictures or whatever. That's not what I, hold on a second. Stop licking that. I got a dog that's licking a sore paw. Um, number one, I'm not going to go fucking my fans over like the rest of these guys do. I am not a celebrity. I am not a star. I simply am a guy with a YouTube channel. The fact that I've been around for 30 years is the fact that I've been around for 30 years doing what I do. And I can't think of any time in that 30 years that I've actually charged anybody for a signature or for a fucking picture with me. That's not what I do. And like I said, these people persist and it kind of pissed me off. Let me explain something to you. The people that made the conventions great are all gone. H.G. Lewis, gone. Dave Friedman, gone. Sid Hay, gone. Gary Clark, gone. Most of the cast of the Night of the Living Dead, gone. Uh, most of the cast of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, gone. Uh, Gary Clark gone, Gary Kent gone, and when Gary Kent left, that sort of like uh, ended my whole fucking wanting to do any conventions again for the hopes that I might be able to reunite with Gary. So, all the people that made it cool are gone, and I don't belong there anymore, it's that simple. And I sort of get a little annoyed when I say no, and that no isn't taken for an answer. I'm a grown fucking man, okay? I don't want to do this, it's that simple. There's no reason for me to go down there and fuck over my fans, nor should my fans have to pay a $50 door charge to come and see me. It's that simple. Now, I hope I've clarified that. Um, as for ongoing stuff, it's rather disheartening to go through the whole holiday season and only sell one book online. It's also disheartening to have uh, 
Fuseboxshow.com go to great efforts to put up a website for me that it seems that no one's paying attention to, although I have sold a few things and I thank you for that. But I don't understand what's going on here. Am I just supposed to do everything for the rest of my life for free? Am I not supposed to publish any more magazines? Should I not expect any more sales? I don't ask for much. A little, you know, a little patronization would be nice for a change. And, you know, when you're buying this shit, just realize that this isn't mass marketed. This is all, I'll just give you an example. The next issue of Grindhouse Resurrection is going to be limited to 200 fucking copies. And that's it. So, there you go. It's not like it's going to be all over the place like Purgatory was, or Purgatory's being completely whored out at this point. Um, I'm not trying to make a living here. I'm simply trying to subsist my life a little bit more easily than it is than living on a Social Security income. Um, I could have monetized this channel. I still can. And then you're going to get a watered-down version of what you like, and you don't want that. So, not to light a fire under anybody's asses, but like my good friend and watcher Bill Karsman says, you got like over 1,500 subscribers and we can't sell a magazine? Yeah, I'm saying it again. We can't sell a magazine. Maybe I should impose a fee or a donation per month for this whole thing because, like I said, I'm not trying to be a prick, but, you know, some people take a lot of shit for granted. And let me lay this on you. And I'm not trying to be a prick either. This is reality. I got a fucking heart problem. I don't know how bad. I got to go in for another checkup in March. But it's whatever's going on is not good. And I'm not promised tomorrow. I'm 71 years old. I might not wake up tomorrow. And then, well, what's it going to be? Oh, he was a great guy. I wish I had bought something off him, this and that shit, and the other thing. Yeah, I know, it's a lot of sour grapes, but fuck it. I'm just speaking my mind here, because I always speak my mind. I give you something nobody else gives you. I give you the truth. I give you a real-life experience of what went on on that block, as opposed to an HBO fucking fictional thing. Uh, people may take me to task for it. Fine. You weren't there. When were you born? When were you there? I was over there in the mid-60s, drinking. Um, I'm going to do something down the road, maybe, if I decide to continue this, but um, there's a lot of experiences that I've shared that, you know, nobody else will share with you. How many guys will admit that, you know, got, got a hand job from a hooker in a fucking massage parlor or got blown in a back alley or something like that, or actually went into all these places that were, oh, so scary to the masses, but Pete went in there. So... That's all I got to say today. I've uh, got to get my neighbor to upload this when he gets home later because, like I said, I have no way to do this shit. So um, I got to make a decision. And, uh, you know, like I said, I hate to be a prick about it, but I just feel that what I do, as long as I just do it for, for free, is good. If I want to get any revenue out of it, it's not good. And it's not only me. Other people contribute to the magazine, too. Other writers and stuff, and their stuff deserves to be seen. So... Just something to think about, that's all. And like I said, maybe I'll put the banner back up, maybe I won't. I don't know at this point. All I know is I just feel, you know, completely out in left field about a lot of things right now, and I don't think it's right. So you can draw your own conclusions from that.